47 George, take three. This boy was put here to play this game, Ruth. You're speaking like he's dying. He is dying. I'm Howie Klausner. I'm a filmmaker. The family you're about to meet, the Elliots, moved me with a story like I don't think I've ever quite been moved in more than 20 years of, of writing and producing stories in my life. I knew that she wasn't allowed, allowed to tell me anything, but I knew something was wrong. I knew that moment, that day, that I would get the phone call every parent hates to get. And for a brief, a brief instant, we, we had totally lost hope. Uh, and what a, a feeling of despair. Eric Hoovy Elliott is the freckle-faced all-American boy growing up in the Midwest at the beginning of the 21st century. Not that this place looks and feels much different than it did 50 years ago. This is farm country. It's God's country. And you better believe, it's basketball country. Since he could walk, all Hoovy has ever dreamed of is playing basketball. And as the boy grew, we can see, he has the gift. Not the fastest or the tallest, he just had that God-given gift for playing this game. The instinct, the jump shot, and the eyes of a champion. But the 16-year-old is struggling with those eyes. And his game at the beginning of his junior year, when tryouts begin for the legendary Olympia High, the second to last step in the dream of his life, playing college basketball, well, the vision is blurring. His balance just a tad off. And he knows that won't cut it here. You know, my time in the barn wasn't, you know, as successful, wasn't as fun. You know, I was getting headaches. I was, you know, getting dizzy after trying to do a 360. And, you know, as the coordination started to go, you started to wonder. And as you started getting sick to my stomach, um, you start to question a little bit more. And, and then all of a sudden I have double vision and I can't tell which basket I'm shooting at. And uh, that, that's really when we noticed that something really serious was happening. I was the one taking him to all the doctor's appointments, trying to figure out what is this, you know, why is he so sick and why are the headaches there all the time and, you know, really to no solution. And so you finally get to the point where he was dealing with all this headache and this pain and it, you, I don't know how you settle into thinking that that's just normal. Then life took an unexpected turn. It was back in 1999, um, the worst blizzard in 20 years had hit Illinois. Hoovy is rushed to the hospital. And I could see as the, uh, the screen came up, uh, the tech, her expression changed from one of, you know, happy and talking with me to one of true concern. I knew something was wrong. Turns out the diagnosis isn't good. Massive brain tumor. As a mother, I knew that this was it. I knew, okay, it all seemed to make sense now that all those months, of uh, trying to figure out was what was wrong with him. I knew that moment, that day, that I would get the phone call every parent hates to get. This movie is based on a true story. A parent's worst nightmare come true. A child with a life-threatening illness, testing their faith, bringing the family to the brink of bankruptcy. I, I, I think now, one of the things that, that we're supposed to do is tell the story. This is the kind of story we all love. This is the story we all long for. It's the story we all say, why don't they make more stories like this? A story about faith. A story about hope. A story about family. A story about sports. With a happy ending that really, really happened. I, I realized that I was so close to, to not having this life. And um, every day is a gift from God. And you really need to cherish it. Um, just love on your wife, love on your kids. You know, that's what I try to do. Excellent. Circle that one. Nice, guys. Nice. Good job. Really good.